Today we're going to go over typical log logic, management intelligence, and mastery local integration. Typical log logic and mastery local complement each other very well. With the integration of log logic and mastery local, you now have the ability to send mastery local data via syslog to log logic. This allows you to basically enable the following use cases monitoring, alerting, reporting, forensics, and troubleshooting. By centralizing all your data from Mastery Local within LogLogic, as well as any additional infrastructure data, it gives you the ability to do total visibility across your infrastructure. Today we're going to go over a brief demo to kind of demonstrate how we were able to operationalize the data from typical Mastery within LogLogic to better give you insight as to the overall health, as well as any performance issues, and overall monitoring of Mastery Local. So let's get into a quick demo. So here is the typical log logic management intelligence advanced search interface. What we're going to basically do in this demo is kind of see how we can uh, operationalize the access logs from the Mastery Local traffic manager. So I created a filter uh, block, which is essentially just a saved query to basically pull up the individual logs that have been coming into this system. Here you can see that we've um, structured this these log data. In this view, you can basically see the in-context in view of the mastery local logs uh, with the, the table view. You can very easily within the UI select between each of them. We've gone ahead and normalized all the parts of the mastery local log to help kind of uh, better no normalize and optimize the searches. For instance, we've gone ahead and extracted uh, the values for transaction IDs across all the uh, log data that we've been receiving for these instances in this demo. Also similarly, we've done the same for the event IDs. Here you can very quickly select, include or disclude um, you know, the information that you find valuable. This allows you to very quickly filter down on the data. You could do time filtering as well by using our UI to slide the bar over to kind of drill into a particular time frame that, that may be meaningful for you. Within this data, you're also able to do um, a lot more as well. So we can move over to this example. Taking a very similar query, what I've done is I created a, an aggregation uh, rule that allows me to very quickly operationalize the data for reporting. So now I have get all this normalized data very, very quickly and allows me to quickly see what's going on. Again, we've normalized them out into a common schema. This allows, again, you, gives you the ability to operationalize the data very easily across the, a whole set of normalized data, not only mastery data, but also it could be your VMware infrastructure data or it could be, your again, your general IT infrastructure or application infrastructure data. So how did we kind of come to getting those, those rules needed to normalize the data? Well, we have a concept called data models within LogLogic. This allows you to basically take a log and format it down and create simple rules. So as an example, we created a very simple rule that says anytime I see the mastery uh, traffic access logs, I'm going to basically extract those using regular expression and put those in a normalized view. We've also can do things like, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the proxy debug logs as well. So you can see here there's a number of lists of, of all the different types of sources from Mastery Local that, that we're, we're allowing us to normalize and then operationalize very easily. Things that kind of derive from what we've seen so far up to this point are things that we can also utilize to create alerts. So here in this example, we've used the advanced alert interface to do correlation alert. And what this is essentially looking for is telling me to find any events that come with a 500, which is essentially an error issue, and then raise an alert so that that can be looked at, especially if it comes within within a five minute interval. So because normally when you see an alert that comes that quickly, that means that there's something going wrong or there's something quickly going to be failing in your infrastructure. Kind of again, building upon what we've done so far, we can also visualize these for very quickly get visual insight into what's going on. In this example, you can see we've got Mastery Local app distribution for the last 12 hours. So here we can quickly see that we've got a number of applications that have been uh, essentially communicating through Mastery Local. This was all derived from a similar query that we did in the search interface. 
Our search interface allows two types of query languages, the EQL format, which you see here, or the very well-known industry format, um, SQL. So this way, once you've done a query in the advanced search interface, you can take that same query and visualize it here. Here you can also see that we have uh, mastery local logs distribution by type. So these are all the various logs from access logs to memory cache, a token, and so on and so forth. You can also see very quickly the errors within the last 12 hours, the number of deployed instances, the transactions of types uh, distributed across an hour, so you can see that we get a large number of gets versus the, of the posts, <clears throat> as well as get an hourly snapshot of what actually is coming in, streaming in through the, uh, through the mastery local uh, into the log logic instances here. All these visualizations allow drill downs to very quickly happen. So you can click within there and execute a drill down query. This allows you to, again, very visually drive from what you've seen in your visualizations and then operationalize those in the uh, interface. Well, again, we can store a number of, uh, of data up to 10 years, both raw and indexed. So this kind of concludes our demo for today. Thank you for joining.